Hey there, Cancer. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. Let's see what's coming through for Cancer today. Please and thank you, Spirit. What have we got today for Cancer? Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. Six is our harmony and balance. Three is the ascended master is helping you with whatever it is you're working on. Put them together and that's a nine. Wish fulfillment. It's also three, six, nine. Key to the universe. Turkey spirit, give with grace and gratitude. Again, sixes are harmony and balance. Ones are new beginnings. Together, that's a seven. Overcoming obstacles. So sometimes obstacles are put in our path as karma. Sometimes we're just not ready. Other times things happen not because you're being punished, not because you're being tested, but to make you resourceful so that you can become aware of how resourceful you are how much support is around you how much abundance you truly have in all the different ways that you have it i think you have a very curious situation either happening right now or coming up cancer and you're going to be grateful for it because you learn quite a bit you didn't waste any of your time, any of your effort, any of your tears, none of that. And you are grateful that it happened. Let's see what this might be about. For cancer, please and thank you. Five of Cups. Yeah, so there's some loss here. Some sadness, some regrets. Like I said, you did not waste any of your tears. All these tears that you cried, the divine is counting all of these tears. Sure, some things didn't, oh my goodness, work out. This cup still has quite a bit of love in it. I'm sort of feeling this sense that someone forced you to give up on them. For some of you, that's what's going on here. Page of Swords. So there's some information about this that's coming to you or things are just making more sense Maybe you're looking at things in a different way. Yeah, five of wands. You're looking at things in a different way. Something that used to really bother you. Don't think it's necessarily bothering you like it used to. I think you had to fight to overcome the hurt, the pain, the sadness, the loss. You had to fight your way out of that. And through that fight, through that climb, out of that rut, you found out just how strong you are, just how brave you are, just how resourceful you can be. You learned a lot about yourself. Things you didn't even know you were capable of doing, you did. Some of you kind of liked the journey. As I said that, the Nine of Cups. There's, there's hurt and there's pain. Don't get me wrong. This isn't all rainbows and sunshine, right? But 
there is a sense of, you know what, I'm actually kind of glad that happened because it made me stronger, it made me braver, it made me who I am today. I know things now that I definitely did not know back then. You're going to feel a sense of being more safe, being more wise because of the experience. Eight of Wands. Yeah, behind that was the Seven of Cups. You never knew, you never knew, right? Until you finally know it. Wow, I really can do all kinds of different things. I am proud of me. Look at how far I've come. Yep, Ten of Wands. You had all these burdens, but you were like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of having all these burdens. I'm ready to move on. I'm only going to take with me what I need to. Wow. And you are moving away from the rough waters, away from the difficult situation, the stress, the pain, the sadness. Look at how that's depression. That is depression. Look at her. Like what you went through. It really took a lot out of you. You went through it. And you're being guided out of there to somewhere safer. The divine is here. The divine is seeing you. They're counting your tears. And they're helping you to get out of that. They're giving you the information you need. All these signs, these messages, pay close attention to specifically birds and other little animals, definitely the birds. The birds. Birds, birds, birds. Anyways. There might even be a little birdie. A friend amongst foes. And yeah, it's difficult. It's hard. But that's when you learn how strong you are. <laughs> You're a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for, Cancer. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Cancers are crybabies and blah, blah, blah. No, they're not, though. <laughs> like, a lot of Cancer is validated. I know people like to make you guys out to be the drama queen, but you're not. You have a deeper sense of love and understanding emotions and feelings. You are a mirror, my dear. You're half in the water and half on land. Like, come on. Can you be sensitive? Yeah, sure, fine. But that's just how connected to the energy you are. Not a bad thing, guys. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're only taking with you what you need to. If you don't want to carry it with you, let it go. <sighs> I felt that. Maybe you just felt like you needed to hear somebody say it, that it's, that it's okay to let it go. It is. It totally is. Matter of fact, it's necessary. Let it go so that we can move forward. Somebody might need a place to stay. It could be you. This could be somebody else that's going through this. I also feel like you might be surprised. There could be people coming back out of the woodwork, people that you lost along the way. Yep, tower moments. People that you may have had falling outs with. Um, you might be surprised Who's happy for you now that you've released whatever it is you released? It's like they can sense it. Somebody or multiple someones are going to come back in your life. These are key players. These are people you're going to want to hold on to. These are people that are going to help you. These are people you're grateful to have back in your life. It's, it's surprise. Yeah, it's a twist of fate, but it's for growth. It's because you have the foundation now that you need to build sustainable things other than a not stable foundation where everything collapses you've got soulmates and twin flames that faded and destined events like you got people to meet people to 
reacquaint with, people to see. You got things to do, sweetheart. You are going places. Whatever you're losing, you're not losing anything. You're simply making room for what's supposed to be there. Who is supposed to be there? It's okay to forgive yourself. I don't know who this is, but you have to forgive yourself. You more than deserve that, and you know it. Sometimes you just got to tell your shadow to shut up for a minute. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to leave it here. I'll see you on the next one. I hope this helps who it's supposed to, how it's supposed to. And um, until then, stay beautiful.